If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244-4602. From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your evening update. The frontal system that brought the scattered thunderstorms to the area yesterday down along the Gulf Coast and stalling out there, that's brought drier, low humidity air to the region today and slightly cooler temperatures as well. With temperatures over southern middle Tennessee, only in the mid to upper 80s, all the north Alabama did sneak up into the lower 90s. Here's a look at temperatures today. The Lawrenceburg Airport did hit 86 this afternoon for a daytime high. After getting down to 66 this morning for a low, no rainfall today. That's going to hold that way a couple more days, but rain chances do come back later into the week. Here's the breakdown for tonight. Mostly clear skies out there. Dropping out of the 80s into the 70s quickly this evening. That drier air heats and cools efficiently, and that allows us to get down into the low to mid 60s toward daybreak with mostly clear skies on our Tuesday morning, and then we get hot on into the afternoon. Now, lows across the area tonight are going to vary a little bit. Down as low as 60 or 61, up here on Highway 412 from Hohenwald back through Mount Pleasant and Columbia, over to Lewisburg, low to mid-60s on the Highway 64 corridor. And then you get down here in northwest Alabama, and it's mid to upper 60s. But I do think every everyone across the area is below 70. We're back up into the low to mid-90s across the area for daytime highs on our Tuesday with heat index values starting to get near the lower 100s and they'll be even higher as we head through the second half of the week. Mostly clear, partly cloudy for Tuesday. A few isolated thunder showers can't be ruled out on Wednesday, but still relatively low rain chances. They do start to stick to tick up rather on our Thursday with scatter showers and thunderstorms possible for Independence Day, especially the afternoon to the early evening. Many of them may start to fade away just in time for the fireworks after sunset. However, a few isolated thunder showers can't be ruled out. Better rain chances start to tick up even more as we head into Friday and Saturday as this frontal system gradually drags itself in here. We'll have really high moisture content in the air and that upper level heat ridge will start weakening. So all that added together along with multiple disturbances in southwest flow aloft. You put all that together, it's just like a math equation. All that equals elevated rain chances going into the latter half of the week. And here's how the rain chances break down. We'll be dry for Tuesday. Only a slight chance of a thunder shower or two for Wednesday. And the rain chance is still scattered, but they start to tick up on our Thursday. And then really, they start to tick up Friday and a Saturday. And we may be having to raise these numbers further. And then at least scattered rain chances going into Sunday and the start of next week. Temperature's going to be on the warm side the next seven days. Daytime highs into at least the low to mid-90s. Heat index values through the work week in the triple digits, 105 to 110. Wednesday through Friday, and then we start to relax that just a little bit going into the weekend with showers and thunderstorms around. We are watching the tropics very carefully. We had Tropical Storm Chris briefly in the Bay of Campeche overnight last night. That's moved into Mexico and dissipated. We've had a disturbance out here east of Hurricane Barrel. We've been watching to possibly develop in a Tropical Storm Debbie. That chance is still there, but it's lowering with time. Our main attention has naturally been Hurricane Burl. Here's the latest look of it as of this evening. Powerful looking hurricane here with a well-defined eye. Powerful thunderstorms around the center of circulation. It's still maintaining Category 4 status. As of the latest update, the 4 p.m. Central Time Advisory had maximum sustained winds at 150 miles per hour, making it a higher end type Category 4 hurricane, moving west-northwest at 21. That carries it through the North Central Caribbean. But notice that the category numbers start to go down as we go through the western half of the Caribbean. There will be some stronger wind shear out here that will help to disrupt the circulation a bit and cause some weakening. We still expect a hurricane to make landfall in the Yucatan <clears throat> before crossing the Yucatan into the southwestern Gulf in the Bay of Campeche by Saturday. Where it goes from there, there's a lot of uncertainty. We're not sure if it continues on westward into Mexico. A lot of model data does that. Some model data, however, weakens the upper ridge just enough that it can recurve northwestward toward the Texas coastline. Regardless of that, 
As of right now, and things can still change, so we'll watch it carefully, but as of right now, this does not look like it will affect our local weather here in the Tennessee Valley, and it does not look like it will bring a direct threat to the northern Gulf Coastline, places like New Orleans, Biloxi, Gulf Shores, Mobile, the Florida Panhandle. These areas look like they will not be threatened by burial, but as always, we watch it carefully just in case there are any changes, but we don't expect that right now. Mostly sunny for our Tuesday, Few isolated thunderstorms possible Wednesday. Better chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms, but still scattered on our 4th of July Thursday. And then rain chances really tick up Friday and the Saturday Friday and the Saturday as that frontal system approaches the area, still staying with scattered thunderstorms into the start of next week. Daytime highs for the next seven days in the low to mid-90s. There's a look to the latest seven-day forecast. I'll be back at 9 o'clock for a final check of your local weather.